Hi guys. It is a lovely moonlit but chilly night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on a in this undisclosed point on this collapsing planet on this chilly uh where are we? Is it Wednesday night, December second, twenty twenty? So I'm just looking at my stats from my video yesterday. I noticed my the article I did on the BBC's descent into hopium, talking about how the UN Paris climate goals might actually have a chance of working, and uh, I noticed it is the least viewed uh, video that I have put here on Collapse Chronicles and I don't know how long that and I honestly don't know guys if this is a good sign that at least uh, my subscribers uh, are at least intelligent enough to know that if they see any article about the UN uh, or China or Joe Biden or whoever saving the planet, they know it, it, it is such a, an absolute joke. You know what I'm saying, just, just a complete descent into hopium. They don't even bother listening to it. They have no time for this nonsense. So uh, I'm a little bit... Uh, a little bit leery uh, of, of, you know, like a cat hopping on a hot tin roof twice, particularly since this uh, story is actually getting a lot of play in the mainstream media today and uh, all over NPR. NPR is making this one of their main stories, I noticed, driving around today, uh, which, you, you know, just the fact that anything other than, you know, what has penetrated NPR is, is worth something, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and give my take on it for the two or three dozen people on the planet interested in this. Uh, so we're going to go back to the BBC News like we did yesterday. We're going to go back to here the BBC for the second day in a row covering how the United Nations is uh, on the job to save the planet. With apparently no trace of irony here uh, with this <clears throat> headline, Humans Waging Suicidal War on Nature says UN Chief Antonio Guterres. All right, take it away, Antonio Guterres, the chief uh, cook and bottle washer at the, uh, at the United Nations, quote, our planet is broken. Our planet is broken. The Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, said today, Humanity is waging, this is back to the story, Humanity is waging what he describes as a suicidal war on the natural world. Back to quoting Mr. Guterres, Nature always strikes back. Huh. Nature always strikes back and is doing so with gathering force and fury. fury. He said, uh, Mr. Guterres wants to put tackling climate change at the heart of the UN's global mission. Then right next to this story is the other story. This one not from the British news service, but from the French news service, pointing out that 2020... It will definitely be one of the three hottest years uh, ever on record that we are headed, you know, that it will go down in history, if not the hottest year, uh, you know, in, in the top three. Uh, what are they talking about? And I guess they're talking about a possible 31st hurricane brewing uh 
uh, somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean today, uh, two days after the 2020 record-breaking hurricane season ended. So there, you know, there's all sorts of associated stories here, but we want to uh, get back to uh, Mr. Guterres. All right, in a speech entitled State of the Planet, we have heard this term state of the planet bandied about on several Doomer channels. I'm assuming my colleagues in the Doomosphere are giving their own spin on this story uh, from the BBC and, and other mainstream media outlets now. Uh, in a speech entitled State of the Planet, Guterres said that its, quote, central objective next year will be to build a global coalition around the need to reduce emissions to net zero. Net zero refers to cutting greenhouse gas emissions as far as possible and balancing any further releases by removing an equivalent amount from the atmosphere. And again, this is exactly what I was talking about uh, yesterday for the couple of dozen people listen to that video. Uh, this very thing that, that all of the UN's plans to save this planet, the, you know, the climate, the extinction, everything is assuming we are just going to have the technology to suck all, you know, to suck these carbon emissions out of the air, which, which is an absolute lie. It is a joke. It is a lie. It is a go to sleep and let the foxes guard the hen house, leaving it to the United Nations. They talk a good line. You know, Anthony Guterres talks a good line. It's like Sancho Panza, you know, talking about how little dogs uh, need to be responsible for saving the chipmunks. You know, Sancho Panza could sit here and talk all day pointing out the obvious fact uh, that the planet is broken, uh, that nature strikes back, and everything else, uh, completely ignoring the fact that the United Nations uh, it, it are the foxes guarding the hen house. And again, it is not the scientist working. Uh, I'm okay with the scientist reporting to the UN. It, it is the these policy makers, these global world leaders in the hands uh, of the global corporatocracy talking the talk and doing nothing to walk the walk. This is why I'm thinking that at least people uh, tuning in to this channel have enough brains at this point just to ignore anything, any of this hopium peddling, greenwashing crap that the UN uh, is peddling and, and, and that these lefties over here at the BBC and the Guardian are, are just spouting out. Uh, just parroting this. Uh, you know, this reporter and the editor, uh, you know, right here, uh, balancing any further releases by removing an equivalent amount from the atmosphere, and they do nothing to call them out on their BS. Uh, so Guterres says that every country, city, financial institution and company, quote, should adopt plans for a transition to net zero emissions by 2050, 30 years out. Once again, this is the UN kicking the can down the road for 30 more years 
uh, j- you know, just giving the, the, the global corporatocracy that the UN is in the pockets of, a, you know, just, just giving them carte blanche to go right on about business as usual, doing what they do, which is destroying the planet. You know, uh, the, the planet is broken. Okay. The planet is broken. Nature is striking back. We better do something in about 30 years about this, guys. And I think, you know, the, the, I'm always hearing, remember in 1989, uh, the UN was saying we had 10 years. And uh, 31 years later, uh, they're saying we have 30 years. This is the biggest pile of crap uh, since yesterday's BBC reporting. Um, The objective will be to cut global emissions by 45% by 2030 compared with 2010 levels, which I'm sure are 10 times what they were 30 years before that. And, And again... Uh, sounding like a broken record from yesterday, uh, nowhere uh, in this story does, does this reporter or the BBC mention any uh, uh, of all of this uh, avalanche of research that has come in over the past couple of years that if we stopped, stopped, not cut back by 45% in 10 years, if we stopped 100% of our carbon emissions today, the temperature on this planet is going to go right on up, up, up. Uh, You know, Paris Climate Agreement and all the rest of this garbage notwithstanding. We halt emissions 100% percent and uh, the, the tipping point has tipped and of course they're never going to mention the word methane in here okay here is what Guterres demands the nations of the world to do put a price on carbon phase out fossil fuel finance and end fossil fuel subsidies shift the tax burden from income to carbon and from taxpayers to polluters. Now, I do like that one. Good luck on that one. Uh, Integrate the goal of carbon neutrality into all economic and fiscal policies and decisions. Yes, and don't forget, uh, help uh, those around the world who are already facing the dire impacts of climate change. Uh, It is an ambitious agenda, as Mr. Guterres does acknowledge, but he says radical action is needed now. He says radical action is needed now, and then says 30 years. 10 years to get down 45% from 2010 levels. And, and 20 more years to take it the rest of the way. That sounds like some pretty radical action now to me. Yes. Quote, The science is clear unless the world cuts fossil fuel production by 6%. Every year between now and 2030, things will get worse. Much worse. Close quote. Yeah, Mr. Guterres, like you're suggesting that if we cut fossil fuel production by 7% each year between now and 2030, things are going to get better. Climate policies have yet to rise to the challenge, the chief says, adding that, quote, without concerted action, we may be headed for a catastrophic 3 to 5 degree temperature rise this century. Close quote. The impact is already being felt around the world. He warned 
apocalyptic fires and floods, cyclones and hurricanes are the new normal. Biodiversity is collapsing. Deserts are spreading. Oceans are choking with plastic waste. Close quote. Thank you for pointing out the obvious, Mr. Guterres, and exactly what do you think uh, the foxes guarding the hen house are going to do about this? Uh, Guterres says the nations of the world must bring ambitious commitments to cut emissions to the International Climate Conference. The UK and Italy are hosting blah, 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 uh, as well as pressing for action on the climate crisis. He will urge nations to tackle the extinction crisis that is destroying biodiversity and to step up efforts to reduce pollution. We face, he says, quote, a moment of truth. And now, of course, uh, we get to the hopium. This is... Uh, this man does see some glimmers of hope. Yes, and, and of course, the main glimmer of hope is that BS I was talking about yesterday, how, how China and Joe Biden uh, have committed to becoming carbon neutral by the middle of this century. Yes, and of course, do not forget technology will help us to reach these targets. Yes. And then, of course, in direct, in direct contradiction to even that hopium yesterday, he dro uh, droning on the coal business is going up in smoke. Right here in the BBC, in direct contradiction to uh, the hopium addict yesterday, uh, who, you know, but right out there, there are, I, I need to find out, it's somewhere between dozens and hundreds of brand new coal-fired power plants are on the drawing board all over this planet. The coal business is going up in smoke. Give me a break, you big fat liar. We must forge a safer, more sustainable, and equitable path. Yes, he says it is time for this war against our planet to end. Quote, we must declare a permanent ceasefire and reconcile with nature. Oh, please. I anyway, guys, uh, I got to go find something to eat and uh, freshen my drink and uh, burrow down into my sleeping bag on this chilly night. Get out of there and uh, recognize, reconcile with nature. While you still can. Bye, guys.